Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Kiki Sparkles. Hello. And we've got more evidence that Marvel is just a joke. Yeah, well, you know, at least at least for Chris Hemsworth's uh, last film, Thor: Love and Thunder. Yeah, so apparently it's so bad his his kids' friends were making fun yes, of it. Yes, eight-year-olds were making fun of it. Eight-year-olds were making fun of it. So we're going to talk about that. I've got some other stuff that's related to the uh, the comedic tragedy of, of, of Marvel current year. Uh, they're changing the name of Captain America 4. And uh, we can even talk about this thing with the Punisher that... Uh, <laughs> They're basically destroying the Punisher by having him get dressed down by his wife who's back from the dead who comes back to divorce him and take all his money. Does she kill him too? Uh, yeah, apparently. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Fantastic. Just typical. Yeah. We don't understand why we're not making money. Uh, it's kind of funny because I actually put it out there. I'm like, if you told somebody to start reading Marvel Comics in 1961, at what year did you, did you tell them to stop reading Marvel Comics? Yeah, right. And... Uh, what year would you tell them to stop? And the consensus seems to be about 2010, 2011. And that's when Marvel stopped being Marvel. But we'll, we'll talk about all this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news views. And Ranch will get a woohoo. Woohoo. Uh, so, yeah, tell me about this. You did this story on piratesandprincesses.net. Yeah, I just thought it was funny. So, apparently, um, Chris Hemsworth was doing an interview with GQ. And a lot of it's about him being a surfer and, you know, him like thinking about his life and, and, you know, what his purpose is and, you know, stuff like that. You know, he says like this before, he was been doing this kind of since he did that, uh, one limitless show when they found oh, out yeah. the DNA stuff that he could have like dementia or something in his family. Yeah. Anyway, but they were talking him, uh, in, to him about Marvel. And they said when they mentioned Love and Thunder and the reaction to it, he kind of got, he kind of, you know, bristled. They could see like a physical reaction to it. But when he answered them, he said it was funny. He said about his kids' friends making fun of it. He said, it's a bunch of eight-year-olds critiquing my film. The kids said, we thought this one had too much humor. The action was cool, but the special effects weren't as good. But they're right. Doesn't matter if they're eight. They're correct. And then he said, I cringe and laugh equally at it. Yes, because if you're, you know, your children are always embarrassed by you. Yeah. But when they're like flat out, their friends are embarrassed by you too, you might have, you know, it's probably worse when you're an actor. Don't they strip them naked in that one? Yes. Too? <laughs> and then he continued on saying about, well, he, they're bringing up the fact that it did not do well. Yeah. It, it, I mean, it didn't do terrible. It did like 761 million. But it wasn't like this huge, huge, huge epic blockbuster like the other ones were. Right. And the reviews on Rot Rotten Tomatoes, it was it was at one point worse than Thor 2. Yeah, which is level. pretty bad because Thor 2 is considered by a lot of people to be the worst or was for the longest time the worst MCU movie. Right. And then they basically talk about the kids saying what they said. And he said that they had too much fun. He said, I think we just had too much fun. It became too silly. It's always hard being in the center of it and having any real perspective. I love the process. I always, it's always a ride, but you just don't know how people are going to respond. They flick too hard. Oh my God. Um, yeah. So, I mean, when you've got eight year olds, eight year olds mocking you, mm -hmm. you know, you done screwed up. I'm saying up. the special effects look like crap. Yeah. You know, you, you screwed up. And then this was a year ago, but still, he's kind of like still, you know, cringing about it. People did not respond to it. They, they, and again, it says that whole phase four thing, which kind of ties into what you're bringing up now, is that for phase one through three, I think they had a plan. I think people knew, you know, they knew they were going to this, this big climactic ending. Yeah. And they had it all set up for 10 years. Yeah. When that ended, I think people, one, got off the ride because they're like, I'm not doing another 10 years. Then they started doubling down this phase four, which they just played, started replacing everyone and using the, the comic book changes they made that weren't popular. Yeah. And now it's just like no one cares. And everybody's just tired of Marvel. Yeah, and they're they're trying to blame superhero fatigue for it. But meanwhile, Spider Verse did right ridiculously well. Yeah, but they're not trying. I mean, they, there's diversity, in it, but they weren't shoving it down your throat. Right, right. So this is uh, yeah, Captain America four now with a uh, Captain America sidekick turned Captain America, I guess. Well, and yeah, they kind of set that up in, in the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Yeah, which happened in the comics too. Right. I mean, so it's not unusual. It's not surprising by any means. So they were going to call it Captain America: New World Order. I have a theory about this. It also ties into what's going on with the Punisher, and uh, I think they changed the name of it because 
they don't want it to appeal to the alt right church. Yeah, so that's I was what like, I think. I was it, like, it really? Is. Okay. So they're changing it to Brave New World, which actually was a book called Brave New World, and we're living it now. Um, <laughs> you know, so I don't know if that's much better, but yeah, I just don't. I just don't think it's going to do that hot. And that's nothing against uh, Anthony Mackie. Oh, I actually bit. like Anthony Mackie. Yeah, he's okay. Uh, he and seems I, rational. And I would say, you know, of all the um, all the replacements. You know, uh, Sam replacing Steve Rogers makes the most sense, but he's still not Captain America to most people. I mean, this is kind of like War Machine taking over for Iron Man. It was a temporary thing. Right. People are just going to be like, well, who's that? And I don't. And, and of course, they're going to blame racism. Yeah. And I don't think it has anything to do with racism. It's a lot of people just stepped off the, the, the ride. And they don't want to get back on because it's like, I don't want to do another 10 years of this crap. And phase four was pretty much a disappointment. God, I hope they don't do Secret Empire. I hope they don't bring Steve Rogers back as a Nazi. That would be that would be the biggest kick in the. I think a few years ago they might have. I don't know if they would now. I don't know. They don't know what they're doing. I mean, this is the thing. They had a plan until Endgame, and then well, after that, it's just like, yeah, whatever. We're making it up. Now. I think the plan was in play when Disney took over. Yes, it was. And Paramount, there was yeah. a plan. And now that Disney's in charge, we see what happens. Yeah. Yeah. So speaking of, you know, what happens when Disney's in charge, we can't have a character like the Punisher. So weird, like the Punisher and Wolverine, uh, the Punisher can like blow people's brains out, but he can't smoke or drink or yes, anything. Right? Yeah. You know, so weird. But, you, you know, going back to uh, name changes and changes to make sure we distance ourselves from the alt right, the Punisher's logo has been a uh, a, a talking point. The last couple of years, because some people at the January 6th hoedown just happened to be wearing Punisher logos. Right, right. You know, so because of that, we have to we have to you know get rid of this problematic uh, character completely. And then they changed his um, his logo to like a skull or a demon skull yeah, or something. Yeah, then he has like now he's he he's like he's like demon powers or something. Yeah, well, okay, so now they're just gonna kick him in the balls repeatedly. Oh, so wait, she comes back and now she takes his powers away too. Yeah, so this is a uh, wait. So let me get this straight. Yeah, she comes back. Yeah, takes his powers away. Yeah, divorces him. Yeah, and then then says and then takes all his money. Yeah, are you effing kidding me? And then she shoots him apparently. Yeah. So what this is gonna do? <laughs> It's, this is going to be like, you talk about, you know, men going their own way, that movement. And they're all like, oh, yeah, women just want this for our money. And that's what she's doing. She's coming back to divorce him and take his money. This like, is the most, as a woman, I find this highly insulting. I really do. I, I, I you know, You're thinking, they think it's empowering. It was, it was a dude who wrote the shit. Because they think it's empowering. And I find it insulting. Yeah, so I mean, this could just be a, a one. Plus, the art's not that great. I'm not gonna lie. It's, it's really. Not I was really looking good. at it. I'm like, this art kind of sucks. This never. I mean, I'm not trying to be a dick. I'm not trying to be a dick, but this this never would have passed muster at Marvel ten or fifteen years ago. I'm, I'm not trying to be a dick either, but the art isn't very good. And honestly, the coloring is the only thing that's saving it. And that's saying something because the coloring's yeah. not that great either. But yeah, so this is all about undoing the Punisher. This is all about uh, you know getting rid of the problematic character. That um, or they're going to have him come back. And he's going to be the all new, all different, way kinder, rainbow colored Punisher or some. But wait, crazy I don't shit. understand. But like, why? Why make his wife the bad guy for one? And two, it's like you know, because she has to come back and be the cliche. You know, I mean, like, cause she's a, she's a, you know the woman, so she's got to take everything. She's gonna, you know, it's it's basically like Ray Skywalker. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to come in. I'm going to take it all because I suddenly can't because I am you know me and well, I have tits. She's screaming at him for using their dead kids as a reason to go around and kill people. Well, then I agree with. And she's way. like, "Well, I was going to divorce your ass anyway." I mean, this is this is right up there with the Mary Jane thing, like undoing. Like the, she is the primary motivation for the Punisher. It, you know, her and the kids. And now they're going to. So this is all about taking the teeth out of the Punisher character. Yeah, yeah, and then being like, well, you're an asshole for using me and the kids, and I was yeah. going to divorce you anyways. I'm taking all your power, and I'm going to be the one that goes around being the bad guy. I, don't, I mean, this is stupid. I don't know. I don't know where they're going with this. I just find, like, it, I find it, I don't know, I find it insulting as a woman. I just feel like it's lazy, it's cliche, it's ridiculous, it's not empowering, and they keep using this as empowerment. It's not empowering, it's just insulting. Oh, it's not It's not about empowerment, it's about depowering. Well, it's no, no, but, but you no, know, it is. They're trying yeah. to say you're empowering her to, de to take his power yeah, away. To, and it's like, that's stupid. Yep. 
so it's going to be a kick to the balls, kick to the teeth. Let's, you know, and I don't know what they're going to do with the Punisher after this, but I mean, the warning signs were all there when they I changed the logo. I wonder if their logo. kids laugh at them too, like the people that make these comics. Probably. Like, what do you do for a living? My, kid, my friends think you're full of shit and they make fun of you. Well, that happened. That happened to us. We had our kids, their friends didn't believe that we made comic books. We did stuff that's for Disney true. or but whatever. That's, but that's not the same thing. No, this is like whatever. It's a lot of these people probably don't have kids. I mean, to be honest, a lot of people working in comics. No, I'll tell you the truth. A lot of people working in comics now probably don't have kids because they can't afford to have kids because comics don't pay nearly as well as they used to because they don't sell as well as they mm. used to. So that's that's just that. So anyway, there we go, guys. Uh, Marvel is a joke. It's yeah, a huge joke. and it's their own. It's their own choices that they've made. And I mean, that's maybe trick, but Taika Waititi in, in, in Ragnarok, you know, it already was starting to split the fandom because people were like, "That was too jokey," but a lot of people still yeah. liked it. I didn't hate it, yet, but it wasn't terrible. And then come this last one, they thought, "Well, let's push it further." And I'm like, "I'm, I'm not trying to be dick, but Taika Waititi, this is what he does. This is why you just don't let, let him anywhere near Star Wars. Don't let him near Akira for sure." I can't even imagine what he would effing do to that. It's just, there's, he's a complete style and it's usually involving being joke. It's a whole thing, it's like a joke and it's about pushing jokes. And that's funny, it works for some things, but when you, you take it too far, it just it just doesn't work. Yeah, I could I could just see him doing the Luke Vader scene being like, who's your daddy? Yeah, yeah I, just, I don't think he's a good pick for Star Wars, I'm sorry. All right. Are we going to wrap this up? Yep. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye. Sorry, I, I yelled loudly. That's okay. I got I got the limiter on. Okay. So uh, you can tell my kick setting. Yeah, you can you can so you can it tell, really it automatically limits it when it, I yell. It does when you get when the pitch gets too high. It it <laughs> it does. When sometimes if you sound like all robotic, it's oh because it's, it's bringing the decibels down. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Help support the channel. Go to thereef.support and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's thereef.support.